What's up, students? How are you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Uh, we'll get started here in just a second with uh, with the live feature. I hope everybody's doing well. What's going on, guys? It's a couple, we had a couple of great questions already this morning, so uh, that has been great. I'm just getting set up here, and then uh, we'll get started talking about the the SAT and the ACT, guys. So first and foremost, welcome to uh, welcome. If you haven't been with us before for a, for one of our live streams, uh, we are we are excited to have you guys for the first time. If you have been with us before, welcome uh, and welcome back. I guess we will get uh, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to take about the first fifteen minutes or so to just answer any questions. We already had a great one. Uh, we had some great ones earlier on, and then Melanie, you just had a great one. I'll talk about the the guessing strategy and why it's so important to be a to be a great guesser and why it's so hard to be a great guesser in so many ways. Uh, we'll get started with, we'll talk some, through some of that, we'll talk through, give you guys a little bit of a pep talk, what what you should expect going into the test or, or what you want to be doing the morning of the test so that you don't feel this this feeling of like overwhelmingness or, or anxiety or stress. The, the less stress you can have on this, the, the less stress you can put on yourself, the better you're going to do on this exam. Uh, we've seen it from countless students in the past and, and that is ultimately going to be the, the most important thing that we focus on, particularly on test day. It's, it's your job to, do, to, to be a great student and be great at your work ethic and all that kind of stuff uh, before test day so that you memorize these different concepts, all the things that you need to know for the test. But on test day, it's your job to just kind of throw that stuff out the window and be like, you know what, whatever happens, happens. I'll give you guys a little bit of a background on, on some of the stuff that I did when I was a kid that, that worked well. Uh, however, why I wasn't a great student, I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, but you know, in any case, we, we will, uh, we'll get started with this and, and hopefully you guys get something out of this. Uh, any questions, Melanie? I'll get to your questions first. That was a that was a great one to start us off. Um, so actually, you know what, guys? Uh, again, for the first fifteen minutes or so, we're just going to talk about uh, just just general thoughts about the SAT and the ACT, and and how you guys can be prepared early on, uh, early in the morning. Right? There's some anxiety when you if if you go to a testing center. We'll see what happens here. There's there's so much uncertainty with everything right now, but when or if you go to a testing center, you're standing in line to register and that, that alone creates stress, right? Like the person standing in front of you is also testing, person standing behind you is testing, you're like, ah, I don't, what's up with that person, right? And, and so, you know, you don't want that, there's that social anxiety too that goes along with this and that doesn't help you be a great test taker. So what we focus on in our videos, what we focus on in these, in these live videos as well, is how do we make you guys be the best possible test takers you can be on the day of the test and then you throw everything else out the window. So let's start with Melanie's question here. It was again, it was a great one. Uh, so you guys can see, we'll just use this as, as some blank screen here, uh, but I'll use it as, as uh, to answer Melanie's question. So Melanie, if you guys see in the chat, and by the way, if you guys don't see the chat open right now, uh, please, oops, please make sure that you guys, uh, you guys can click in the top, I think it's in the top right hand corner. But Melanie asked a question about guessing. So in our videos, we talk a lot about how you can be a great guesser. And, and one of the comments that we always get is like, well, why, yeah, why do you decide to pick one letter versus all the other ones? Melanie, here's why. Because if you have, let's take the SAT as an example. If you have one out of four chance on every one of those questions, so you're going to randomly pick letters. And what we get from most students that randomly pick letters is, well, I could get them all right. Yeah, that's true. And, and that's the psychologically difficult part. If you pick random letters, you are not being the best test taker you can be. Having said that, to be the best test taker you can be, it's difficult. So let me show you why. If you randomly guess a letter, like you're at the end of the test, you have, you have no idea what's going on, you just want, kind of want to get out of there. You have a one-fourth, okay, you have a one out of four chance of picking every single letter. If we do that to times ten, right, there's ten, let's say you, you guess in the last ten problems, or even the last three, in just three questions, Right, you have one to the four, one to right, one cubed over four cubed. So just getting randomly guessing three questions right, you have a one in sixty-four chance of doing that. Now that's something percentages and, and probability is not something that anybody reasons with well. It's it's just not something that we do well as as just human beings. But if you look at this, if you guess on ten straight questions and you're just randomly guessing, like no educated guess, you've never seen the problems before, you're going like A, C, D, B, right, all over the place, you have a one over four to the tenth possibility of getting all ten of those questions right. 
And again, we, despite that being such a, a, like that would never happen. That's just never going to happen. That, that carries it out to 10 zeros, right? It's just crazy how un, unlikely that is to happen. One out over four to the 10th. Now, if you just guess the same letter down as an example, let me show you guys. So this is the, well, for those of you that are taking the test, I'm not going to tell you which exam this is. Let's see if I can find the answer choices just for one of these. So, you guys can see that I've written on this before. So Melanie, if you guys have seen this and why this guessing letter is so important, where are these answers? Sorry guys, if this is giving you a headache. Okay, so let's just take the reading section as an example. Uh, all right, let's take writing and language because I've already written on reading. If you take the last 10 questions of the writing and language section on this particular test, and let's just say you pick A, guessing all the way down, let's say from 36, or you can even, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, right? At least you're guaranteeing yourself three A's, right? You're guaranteeing yourself three additional questions correct. Does everybody see that? So this is just a, this is just a random uh, answer key for the SAT. Same thing applies to the ACT, guys. So if you're, if you're taking the ACT, the same thing goes. But there's three A's, right? You, you at least guarantee that you get three additional questions right because it's actually more likely, Melanie, that you will miss. If you randomly guess, like all of the, and we've seen this from students, if you randomly guess different letters, it's more likely you miss every one of those questions than it is that you get everyone right. In all likelihood, you, if you guess randomly, you'll probably get one out of 10 right. If you guess the same letter straight down, you'll get at minimum three right, and probably at minimum three, let's say, because it happens every time. Even if you pick C here, like this, this is the last 10, right? If you pick C, 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 right, B, other than D, you get three questions right. Now, what is so hard about doing that as a student? Because believe me, that's, it's not easy to fill in the bubble sheet straight down, right? If I'm like going A, 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 the reason that it's so difficult for us to do that in, in today's, in your life is because when you take a school test, there's so much anxiety when you don't fill out a problem, right? Like, can everybody agree with that? If you guys took the AP, if you take an AP math test in school and you don't do an entire problem, you're like, I just failed that test. I'm a failure. I'm never getting into the best school. I'm, a, I'm just, let, I'm going to go sleep in my room and watch Netflix for the next two days. On the SAT and the ACT, that is not the case. And so one of the things that we always talk about, and this is hopefully going to help you guys stay calm and stay relaxed, is look how many questions. This is now for everybody, not just, uh, let's see if I can get down to where I just was. Sorry, guys, if I'm giving you guys a headache. Okay, so guys, this is not, uh, the, the, the SAT is so different. We're actually going to come out, we're coming out with videos for the SAT and the ACT this week on the secrets of the SAT and the ACT. The true secret of this test is understanding the scoring. If you understand how the scoring works on the SAT and the ACT, you will do so well because the content and the concepts on these two exams is not very hard. The reason I know that is because they're testing basic punctuation for you guys on, on the writing and language section. Basic punctuation, like that, for those that are that have that schoolhouse rock song, like conjunction, junction, what's your function, right? That's, that is what they're testing. Conjunction, junction, what's your function from those old schoolhouse rock videos? Maybe I'm getting too old for those. But for those that have seen those, that's what they're testing on the writing and language section. The key is, is when you, if I were to just give you five questions in school and it was like just whatever on a Monday morning, and I'm just like, here, do these warm up problems. I, and it was the same five warm up problems that you saw on the SAT. I guarantee you'd get them all right. What happens is when we put all this stress and anxiety in our, on, on ourselves and we're like, if I don't get this score, I don't get into this college and I'm a failure. That is way too much to take this test because the content is not very hard. Right? Who am I too old? Is the conjunction junction? What's your function? Has anybody ever seen that before? That's an old schoolhouse rocks video that they used to play. Am I getting too old for that? If if I am, I'm I'm uh, it's it's very I'm hurt inside. But it, maybe some of you guys have seen it. In any case, this is what I want you guys to remember as you take this exam. You need to treat this as a game. You need to think about this as like how do I improve my score today just a little bit. Because if you improve your score this much every day, and we've had this happen to a student, I'll tell you about her in just a second. If you improve your score this much every single day, by the end of even 30 days, your score will have improved this much. You have to treat this as like, how do I get a little bit better? How do I not give up? Because at the end of this test, it's going to happen to everybody today, I guarantee it. At the end of this test, you're going to be sitting in a position where you're like, I just do not want to be here anymore. And it's your job to remember that every single question, this is on the SAT, but the ACT actually has an even more favorable scale. 
Every single question is worth 10 points, okay? So this is 45 on the math section, on the SAT. This is 45 out of a total of 58 questions. If you guys get a 46, if you do, if you, if you have the mental, if you have the drive and the mental toughness to get through this, even one more question brings you up 10 points. That's even more true on the ACT than the SAT because the scale, because it's so, it's, it's so out of so many fewer points. 36 is obviously a lot less than, than 800, but it's so important that you guys have that mental toughness. Does that all make sense, guys? Can everybody give me a thumbs up in the chat section if that all makes sense? That the mental toughness to keep being like, okay, I know this question stinks, but let me go find one more that's easy. Let me go find a question that's easy so that I can get back on a roll. And now all of a sudden, like, yeah, I got this. I got this. Rather than fo focusing on the single hardest question on the test and being like, oh, man, this is just the worst thing ever. I'm just doing this because my mom told me to this morning and I don't want to be here. I'm just going to start guessing or not paying attention. That is the worst thing that can happen on a test like this because every question is worth the same amount of points. Every one that you just give up on or you sacrifice on, it, that, that's minus 10. Just like when you guess randomly. If you start guessing randomly, okay, if you just start guessing randomly, you're sacrificing two or three, two or three questions which on the SAT is, is 20 or 30 points, you're sacrificing that every time. Okay, and that's just, it, it's so critical. Okay, so hopefully all that makes sense. So we're getting closer to the nine o'clock start time that I wanted to, uh, that I wanted to go to. Uh, we had a question about SAT or ACT. The first thing that you should do, if whether or not you want to take the SAT or the ACT, is you should take a practice test of each. And we'll talk about how you can, we have all the practice tests listed on our website or the officially released one. So we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, the first thing I want to make sure that everybody does is, does everybody have a test? Because if you look in the description below this video, I have posted the, uh, the recently released or, or all of the released tests for both the SAT and the ACT. So if you guys click on those links, uh, it should be, you just open the description, it should say exams, and it says all officially released a ACT exams, all officially released SAT exams. Okay, if you don't have an exam already, please make sure you click those links. It's very straightforward in terms of how you download and how you print the bubble sheets and all that. So just make sure that you guys print those links now if you haven't already. After the exam is done, we've created these pretty cool score reports. So it's also in the links section. Whoops. So also in the links section below, you guys will see these advanced score reports. I probably shouldn't go down too far because this is an actual test. But what this does, guys, is it allows you to see the exact question types you're missing. So when you're done and you have your bubble sheet, all you have to do is go plug in your answers. Okay, you plug in your answers. And then right here, all of these tutorial techniques that you'll see in the far right-hand side, again, this is listed under SAT Advanced Score Reports or ACT Advanced Score Reports. If you click either of those links, you'll see those in the description below. You have access to all of the, or all of the ones we've completed so far. We're working on completing the rest. But then you can see exactly which questions you're missing. So if you miss a whole bunch of punctuation questions, it's really important that you focus on the punctuation section. And that takes me to the final thing that I want to talk about is we have our free SAT ACT Star U app. Okay, so if you haven't downloaded Star U yet, please do so now because that's going to be another step in what we're trying to do. Star U allows you then to go back and it, it corresponds directly with those things that I just pointed out. So if you come to this tutorial techniques, right, it says punctuation, the app is free. You can download it in the app store on Google Play. Now all of a sudden you can click, if you missed a bunch of, uh, a number of punctuation questions, you can read about the punctuation section, right? And then you can click practice questions and you can start doing practice questions that only relate to punctuation. It's by far the most efficient way to continue to improve. It's a, by far the most official way, uh, efficient way you can, uh, you can continue to improve. So let me just make sure, James, I saw your question there. You should have bubble sheets. So if you click the, uh, if you click the exams the link in the, in the description, James, you should see uh, bubble sheets. So just click the link that says exams, ACT exams. And you, if you click that, you'll see uh, buttons for the bubble sheets. So click that just so that we don't, but again, hopefully everybody, hopefully everybody has uh has access to the app because that app, or it's also at staru.co if you guys are on a desktop. What that app allows you to do is it allows you to focus on the exact types of questions that you're missing. Okay, is that is that cool? Everybody good with that, hopefully? Okay. So another thing that I want you, we're gonna start with the SAT guys. We're gonna start with the SAT, so we're gonna proctor that test first. 
But one of the things that I want everybody to do right now so that we can get started and we can get going is after you've downloaded the app, I want everybody to open the app. So again, you create a student account, it's all free. And I want the, the most important thing that you guys can be thinking about, and you can do all of this on your phone too. That's the beauty of using the StarU app is if you open this for the SAT or the ACT, you can do practice problems like SAT writing and language. And it's so important that you guys are warming up. That rather, rather than standing in line, right, when you get to the SAT testing center or the ACT testing center, rather than standing in line and getting nervous and anxious, just be doing practice problems on your phone, right? Because that's going to, A, get you in the right mindset. You're going to be thinking like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm doing the SAT today. I'm doing this in 15 minutes. I should probably be doing practice problems just like you do if you were in a, in a theater production, a play, or if you play a sport, or if you anything in your life that you warm up for, you're going to do better on. So please, everybody, let's just take about five minutes to do some practice problems now for both SAT and ACT test takers. When you open the app, you can just click ACT if you're an ACT student, right? And focus on, for the, for the ACT students, focus on the English section because that's first. For SAT students, you guys can focus on either English or uh, writing and language is probably easier to do rather than having to read full passages for the, for the reading section, which is going to be the start. This is not designed, these warm-up problems are not designed to make it so hard on you that you are, that you, you're right, that you don't, uh, that, that you do really poorly on the exam. That's not what the, that's not what the test is for. It's not for you guys to get more overwhelmed by it. Instead, what I want you guys to be thinking about is, how do I do a few practice problems to just, just get a little bit better today? Does that all make sense? So I want everybody to do a few warm-up problems now before we get started with the exams, and then we'll start with the SAT students. And then we'll start with the ACT students, and then we'll get you guys started. Okay? So take about two minutes, guys, to do some practice problems to warm up. SAT students, we're going to get started with you guys first just because the SAT is slightly longer as a total times test than the ACT. So let's do some practice problems first. It's so critical that you guys are going through this, and you're actually doing some warm-up problems. So let's take, uh, let's take, again, punctuation as an example. You click punctuation. You click the practice questions, right? And you just start doing practice questions to start thinking about what you're going to do. So this isn't the first thing on your mind. Yeah, any of the, Dakota, any of the ones on the website you guys can take. So any of the any of the tests on the website, you guys can take any of those. I, what I would recommend, though, is that you'll see those advanced score reports just below the description. What I'd recommend is that you guys select a test today that we have the advanced score report already available. That way you can plug in your answers after the test. I think we have five SATs available and like six or seven ACTs available. I'd recommend choosing one of those that's available within the advanced score reports. Again, those links are in the description as well. So just so you can plug in your answers at the end and immediately see your score and immediately see the question types that you're missing. Great question. Great question. Again, everybody, I want you guys to take a few, few minutes right now to be doing practice questions so that you're warming up. So this isn't the first... I don't want it to be that the first reading question, would, in the reading section for the SAT test takers, that's the hardest section of the SAT by far. It, you can't just walk in and be like, oh, I guess I'm doing this today. right? That, that's not going to lead to the highest possible score, and, and we want you guys to have the highest possible score. We want to maximize your score on test day, and, and warming up will make a huge difference in doing that. So again, everybody do some warm-up problems now. Start thinking about, okay, what, do we, what is it that I need to do? What am I about to do? And when you're at the testing center and you have a student in front of you that's getting you getting nervous and starting to talk to their friend that's in front of them about how they're going to fail the test and all that kind of stuff, you should just be on your phone doing practice problems, avoiding all of that outside noise that's going to make you more stressed. A three and a half hour time test, as stressful as it is, you don't need more noise and more people trying to influence you that it's going to be harder than it is because the content is not very hard. Truly, the content is not very hard. What is hard is... is uh, what is hard is, is sitting there for three and a half hours and working through this. I'm sure none of you guys woke up today being like, I can't wait to get to the SAT with Chase today. Those proctored practice tests are really where I want to be. Nobody wakes up thinking that, so it's your job to battle through some of those, those, those thoughts, battle through that, that motion. Okay, so again, spend, spend like five minutes. Let's spend another maybe two or three minutes for the SAT guys, and then we'll get started with the SAT test takers. As you guys are as you guys are uh, doing this, I, I want to bring up one other thing. We also just created so Star Tutors. Fortunately, was uh, because of all of your participation and all of your um, 
just all of you, just everything that you guys have done for us and in, in your participation in this. I can't thank you enough for just being here today. There's so much uncertainty, and for the fact that you guys are sitting here on a Saturday morning deciding to take an SAT, that will help you in your entire life, I promise. This is still something that will be majorly beneficial in your life. I can't thank you guys enough for deciding to work hard, because that's not something that I did when I was a kid. I was a really strong, standardized test taker as a kid, and I, I thought that that would get me by, so I didn't put any work in school. I was a horrible student at a horrible GPA. And for any of you that are sitting there with that one friend that's like, oh, I, I don't know how that person got the score that they, that they received. I don't know how they got that score. And I'm struggling here every day and working hard. That I promise you that your work ethic will pay off so much better and in, in, in dividends than the student that just kind of skates by and happens to be a good test taker. So for, for any of you that are feeling anxiety about that, I am that person that, that just didn't have a strong work ethic and that didn't pay off. I spent five years behind the curve because I thought I was just going to be get by on doing stuff like this well. That doesn't help. People aren't looking for a great test taker in every aspect. While it does help in certain aspects of your life and being a good decision maker, that doesn't mean that you don't have to have the work ethic. The person that can become a great test taker that has the work ethic as well will succeed in every aspect of their life, I promise. So, so again, one of the things that you guys have allowed us to do is, is YouTube recognized us that we can have a channel membership now. And what this does is, is we're going to try to create premium content for all of our channel members. I, I try not to, I try to the best of my ability not to make this stuff, you know, not to, to price, to, to price anybody out of this. But for $10, we've created this YouTube discord channel. So it's a combination where you'll get all of these videos, you'll get extra videos and you have the access to this discord channel where you can a ask any question. Let's say it's English. You're looking for ACT English help. You can ask questions about that and then our moderators and our, and our past former students of who have scored well will answer those questions for you guys. So you guys can ask any question you want. And again, this is not something that I want to, I don't want to sell you guys on this. If you don't, you know, if you don't want to do this, don't, you don't have to, but I do think for $10 a month, it really gives you an opportunity to ask any question you want at any point in time. And all you have to do is click the, if you want more information, there's more information in the description below. Uh, but the Discord channel will allow you guys to ask our, our moderators, our tutors, our teachers questions at any time. And all you have to do is click join on the, uh, on the button below, the video below. So if you guys are interested, let me know. If not, please don't feel obligated to do it. It's because of you guys that we were even able to create a membership part of this YouTube thing. Uh, I like to think of us as, a, as the first ever ACT SAT gamer channel for anybody that's into video games. I'm sure you guys have seen this on Twitch and YouTube before. But it's typically associated with gamers. We were fortunate because of you guys uh, to have that. So if you're interested, let us know. If not, no worries. We'll keep doing all of these free live stuff for you guys as well. So let's get started, guys. Okay, let's get started with the uh, with the SAT test takers. Okay, SAT test takers. So SAT test takers. Here's what I'd like you guys to do. Again, I want you to continue to think about this. ACT students will get started in just a moment. SAT test takers, I want you guys to keep thinking about this idea that every question you answer is worth 10 points. Okay, you don't have to, it doesn't make need to create stress or anxiety for you, but what it does need to do is when you get to that moment, and there will be that moment, believe me, there will be that moment of just like, you know what, mom, I'm never doing this again. Just get out of my face. I, I hate the test. Chase, you're a loser. I wish you, I, I wish you would never have turned me on to this, this proctoring practice test video because I'm just so overwhelmed. If whenever you guys have that moment, blame me, don't blame your parents, okay? Your parents are trying to help you, okay? When you get to that moment, continue to think about, I got 10 more points right now. If I just keep my head down, if I keep battling through this, I can get 10 more points right. Compete with yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to go from a 1,200 to a 1,600 today. But if you go from a 1,200 to a 1,250 today, two weeks from now when we have another one of these proctored practice tests, you're going to be like, yeah, now let me go to a 1,300. You know what? Let me get to a 1,350. We had a student two years ago who's now at Cal Berkeley. She's studying data science at Cal Berkeley. She started out at a 970. A 970, that is the national average for SAT test takers. She started out at a 970. And she looked at me and I, I explained the scale to her. Uh, we did the same videos and same all this stuff. And she, she emailed us and said, you know what? I'm going to work every week to improve 10 points. I'm going to memorize one concept every week. And I'm going to make sure that if I memorize that concept, I never miss it again. And I'm going to work 10 points. Well, guess what? She did that for a year. Actually, 54 weeks, she emailed us. 54 weeks, she went from a 970 to a five, to a 1510. She improved her score 540 points. And that's a perfect example of somebody that did was not a natural test taker. Starting out at the national average does not necessarily mean you are a natural standardized test taker. 
But she didn't let that deter her. And by the time she got to a 15-10, she was in the top 1% of all students. She, she improved her score 49 percentile points because she just wouldn't give up. She was like, you know what? I might not be a natural test taker, but I, that doesn't matter to me. I'm going to work hard for a year every week, and I'm going to make sure I memorize this concept. And she improved her score 540 points. That is a true statement. I, she, she's a current sophomore, junior. I'm, I'm getting too old. At Cal Berkeley, because she was able to just put in that time and effort and work ethic. So you guys can do that too. But it's got to come down to, to that inner will. And in today, when you're in that moment of like, God, I just feel so tired. I want to get away from this thing. Take a deep breath. Even if you spend a minute just taking a break and taking a drink of water and sitting back and be like, okay, let's go. Let's do this again. That will help you so much more than just being like, oh, I'm just done with this. Circling, right? Circling answers just to be out of it and be done with this. Okay, so please take that more than anything else. Please take that to heart. Okay, so for SAT test takers, if you guys look in the description below, and I'm going to post this link as well, here's how this is going to work. Every, I'm going to post this video for the SAT exam. So this, this is the SAT test take, SAT proctoring video. For SAT test takers, when you're ready to start, if you're ready to start now, that's great. I want you guys to click that link that I just posted in the chat. It's also posted in the description of the, this video below, so you guys can look at that as well. I want you to click that link and I want you to start the test. But before you do that, I want you to mute this video. I'm going to stay online. Okay, I, I'm going to stay live in this chat. I want you to mute this video and when you're ready to start, open that other link and start the testing video. That will lead you and guide you. It has timers. It has everything that you need. It will lead you through the entire exam when you click start on that video. Having said that, if you mute me and you have that open in another tab, you can always come back with no anxiety, no stress and ask me questions throughout the test. Okay, so you can always come back to it. So again, for SAT test takers that are ready to start, if you have your test in front of you, you have your water bottle, snacks, pencils, all that kind of stuff, and you're ready to go, click that link, mute this video, have that open in a separate tab so you can always come back and ask a question in the live chat if you need to. And SAT test takers, you guys can start now. Okay, so can everybody that's an SAT test taker, if you're still watching, give me a thumbs up that you're ready to go, and you guys can open that video. Keep me muted on this channel so you can ask any questions that you need. And you guys, SAT test takers, you guys can get started now. If you have any questions for the SAT guys, let us know as well. ACT guys, hold tight. We will uh, we'll get started here in just one second. Okay, let's see here. All right, guys, so uh, hopefully everybody's good to go with the SAT. Ready. Okay, guys, good luck. SAT test takers, good luck. Hopefully you guys do well, and we'll switch over to the ACT guys, ACT students. Okay. So ACT students, just while we're getting started, because we didn't, we, you guys didn't have as much of a chance as the SAT students, for ACT students, Let's have you guys back up quick, and ACT students, can you just, because we've been talking for the SAT students here in a second, can you guys just spend another two minutes for ACT students, can you guys spend another two minutes just doing some warm-up problems? So let's have you guys start that now. So just some warm-up problems, ACT students, let's have you guys just start, go into the StarU app, if you haven't downloaded it already, please do that. Open StarU, click ACT English, get the warm-up going so that you guys are, are thinking about the ACT English section. This warm-up is not designed to give you guys the hardest possible questions. If you want to do some easy questions, click verb tense, or, or verb tense is an easy one typically, okay? But click verb tense and just do some easy practice problems in the star you app so that you guys can, again, get your mindset going for what you're about to take. So you're warming up, you're thinking about this rather than just being like, oh, I guess this is what we're doing today, right? Start, start off on a great note by just doing some practice problems. So you guys were already doing that before, so let's only take about two minutes to do that, but do that now for about the next two minutes.
think. ACT students, we're just starting doing some practice problems, getting you guys in the right mindset. Not a lot of pressure on this. We're just warming up. We're thinking about what we need to do to get started. Don't, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. You guys are doing great. Again, take another one minute or so, and then we'll get started, guys. Great job. Again, such a great job that you guys are doing this right now. It's, it's going to pay off. Being a great test taker is, is a huge advantage in life. It really is. If you have the work ethic, if you can combine the work ethic with great test taking abilities, great decision making abilities, which is really what this is testing you on, right? Quick decisions, that's what the ACT and the SAT are testing you on. If you can combine that with a really strong work ethic, you the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. A great example of that is Bill Gates. Bill Gates got a perfect score, I think, on his SAT test. Very smart, but also obviously had all of the work ethic, ethic to go with it. And now, you know, now he, he has the opportunity to change the world in a lot of ways. So that the combination of those two things, being a great test taker and having the work ethic will pay off in so many ways for you. And I promise those, the, everybody that's on right now has this tremendous work ethic because you guys are here on a Saturday morning amongst all of this uncertainty and you guys are still battling through this. I can't thank you enough for just doing that. That's awesome. That's true. That's really, really great, guys. So keep it up. Okay, so great guys. So for ACT test takers, again, that's just a warm up. I don't want you guys to be too overwhelmed by this. For ACT students, uh, actually, you know what? Let me back up here real quick. So just like just as before for the ACT students, we also, if you guys go into the ACT after you're done with the test, you guys can see your score by logging into the uh, by clicking the links below. If you click Advanced Score Reports, you guys will see things uh, like this. You see a test that looks like a score report that looks like this. When you're done with the test, you guys can submit your answers, and then you'll have the opportunity to see exactly which question types you're missing. Then you can use the Star U app to do exact question types like punctuation or subject verb agreement. You can do those exact question types once you know what your score is and once you know you, where you are. Okay, so that'll be a great opportunity for you guys after the test. Having said that, ACT test takers, you guys are doing such a great job. Let's get started with the ACT test video, just like the ACE, just like the SAT students before. Uh, just like the SAT students before, give me one sec here, guys. One sec, guys. Uh, sorry, guys. Just like the SAT students before, I want you guys to mute me. So give me a thumbs up that you guys are ready to go. Here's the. I'm posting the ACT proctoring video in the chat now. Okay, posting the ACT proctoring video, just let me make sure that's right. Okay, if you guys are ready to start the ACT exam, you guys can click that video, or you can click it in, it's in the video description below. I want you to mute me now, keep me open in a separate tab in case you guys have any questions. Okay, mute this video now, click the ACT video, okay, click the proctoring video. It will walk you through the entire exam, so click the video, it will walk you through the entire exam, and then if you have any questions, you guys can bounce back and forth. And, and ask me those questions as you, as you go through the test. Okay, the video will, will have the timers. There has a quick, it's a minute introduction video uh, or minute introduction and then it will start the test. It will walk you through the whole exam. So, so click the link, keep me separated on a, on a muted channel so that you can come back and ask questions without being stressed, without having to try to find this video. And uh, if ACT test takers, if you guys are ready to go, good luck on the exam. I hope you guys do great, I know you will. And thank you again for, for, for putting in the time and putting in the work ethic, I promise it'll pay off. Okay, good luck guys, great job, uh, and you guys can start that video now.
Okay, students, so uh, I hope everybody's doing well. You guys should be either finishing up or, or almost done with kind of the last sections of each of the tests. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys again so much for uh, for continuing to work so hard in these times. I mean, I know it's so uncertain, and and uh, truly, you guys are doing such a great job. So uh, we'll finish up now. I'm going to sign off here, uh, but you guys asked, asked some great questions today. And remember that we will be hosting these, these proctoring videos every two weeks, every two Saturdays from now until maybe ever. We may not stop doing these. I think they're, they've, they've uh, been well received for the most part from what we've heard from students and, and uh, gives me a chance to, to kind of get you guys to get you guys on a guided path, I guess, uh, so that, you know, it's just being 16 and 17 years old, you're not going to wake up any morning probably ever and be like, man, I can't wait to get to ACT testing today. Uh, so yeah, again, guys, you're doing such a great job. Hopefully this provides a little bit of structure, if nothing else. Uh, and again, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have uh, as we keep moving forward. If you guys have any, uh, any thoughts about uh, or any desire to join the membership, we'll be answering questions in this exact same way. Uh, going forward. So uh, answering questions on our Discord channel, providing you guys with additional premium content. We'll also be coming out with, with public videos as well, free videos. Uh, but we will be, we'll be uh, you know, giving you guys a little bit more exclusive content uh, as well as that Discord channel, which will allow you guys to chat with all of our, our teachers and tutors, uh, as well as uh, all of our past high scoring students. So if you guys have any questions about how, you know, how they're doing or how they, they manage the test, uh, they'll be on there as well. But again, guys, you did such a great job. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys just continuing to work hard. If you have any questions for me uh, going forward, please don't hesitate to comment on this video. I posted a few helpful links as well. Uh, the chat, if you go back and re-watch this video, the chat will just keep, uh, will, will show up as you watch it and you guys can continue to type in comments and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then remember that we have those advanced score reports on our website that allow you to grade your test and see how you're doing. More specifically, they allow you to uh, know exactly which types of questions you're missing, which you can then, uh, you know, add back into uh, into the Star U app and figure out exactly, uh, yeah, exactly when when uh, you're you're ready to go. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, next, so uh, when you plan to do more ACT sections, yeah. So full timed, uh, those you mean the the real the real testing sections, like the real time tests. We'll, we're going to try. It's hard to do those, actually. It's those those real-time tests are hard to do uh, not live. So so uh, that's something that we've experimented with with these. If we're going to do them live and I'm going to be here live, we're gonna, we think we're going to do those as part of that membership fee. But if, if we're going to film them, we're going to make those available to the public and, and, uh, and, and free. So it's just a live thing. It's hard to film those videos uh, when, we're in, when we're locked down. Because we don't have all of our equipment, the normal equipment that we have at the office, unfortunately, we don't have that right now. Uh, but we're going to try our best to continue to make those live videos. The other thing that we're doing with those live videos, or I mean, uh, rather with those real-time videos, we try to release those as a closer towards test time, just so people are more aware of them. Uh, and so, because there hasn't been a, a you know an official ACT or SAT in the last two months now, uh, we haven't released as many of those real-time videos. But our our plan is to fully to to do those. Uh, and again, we're going to try to do some of those in the same way that we've been doing the, the, the recorded version of those. We're going to do the live version of those uh, where you guys can, can log in and actually watch me take it in, in truly live real time. Uh, if you ever had any questions about whether or not I was, you know, those were edited videos, whether or not we edit them, we don't. Those are the first times I'm seeing those videos. So when we take them live, like live, live, like we are right now, you guys will see, uh, you'll see kind of the stress and the anxiety that comes around with the, taking those tests. So. We're just working through that. It's a different time for us as well, uh, but we're going to try to do those live videos and those real-time videos uh, here soon, especially if there's going to be a June 13th ACT exam. Uh, and then otherwise, we're going to we're going to do some more live videos and some other premium content. But yeah, we're just kind of working through all that stuff. It's a great question, guys. And again, I apologize for not providing as much content over the last uh, maybe month or so. It's just it's been a different experience for us as well. And and I think the easiest way to connect with as many students as possible is, is through these proctoring videos. So we're going to for sure continue to do those every two weeks, uh, every two Saturdays. And then uh, we'll keep working on those real-time ACT videos. If you guys have any comments, too, on those real-time videos, uh, do you, if you have any thoughts or, or questions about uh, which, which videos we should be doing or, or which sections of the test we should be doing, 
Uh, please feel free to comment on our other ACT videos. We read all of those comments. We try to respond as much as we can, uh, but it gives you guys an opportunity to, uh, to let us know what you want us to do. And, and if there's a common theme or a common section of the test, like science or reading or math or whatever, uh, we'll obviously get to those first. So, so uh, make sure that you guys are commenting on those other videos so we know that those are the ones you want to see. Uh, it's always hard to try to kind of curate everybody's opinions on those, but if there's an overwhelming sense of we should be doing more reading videos or science videos or whatever, uh, we'll keep doing those. In any case, guys, I hope you guys are finding these videos to be helpful. I really appreciate all the comments and, and questions that you guys are asking. It's, it's very helpful for me, and it, it allows me to know that you guys are working hard, which makes me want to work harder for you, makes our team want to work harder for you. Continue to do practice questions. Continue to work hard on this stuff. And, uh, you know, we will, uh, uh, yeah, we'll keep doing it. So a question about, do you think it's okay to do practice SAT reading passages for ACT reading? Uh, maybe. The SAT reading passages are way harder than the ACT reading passages, like, like way, way harder. If you've already worked through all of the ACT reading passages like that have ever existed, uh, yeah, it's tough. I, I would say, you know, just keep reading more, more than anything. I mean, it's, it's hard. If you've worked through every test, um, I would say continue to read as much as possible just outside of the ACT. The SAT reading sections are really different. I mean, there, there's no question that in terms of content, the SAT reading is, is the most different from the ACT reading. Um, but ultimately, it comes down to reading comprehension. The, the SAT reading passages are a lot harder. So even if you cut it down for time, it's, it's, uh, it's just a different test. The right, whereas the writing and language section of the SAT and the, and the English section of the ACT are almost, almost identical. That one I would be like, yeah, absolutely do as many writing and language SAT sections as you want, and, and that will help you for the ACT uh, English section. But for reading, it's tricky. Those are two very different tests. Uh, the ACT reading passages are written, and uh, the questions are written at an eighth grade reading level. So it's much lower than what you're obviously testing, but the, the timing is so, so severe. Uh, and so you have to be really, really obviously moving through it pretty quickly. The SAT reading section is written at like a, it's like almost like a, a uh, junior AP Lang test or AP literature test rather. And so it's written at a much higher level, but you have so much more time to answer the question. So they're, they're very different tests in that way. It's, it would be a little tricky, I think, to, to do one, one while practicing for the other. But that's just my opinion. Uh, we've never had somebody do that, so by all means, please, please let us know if it goes well, if, if you do decide to, to practice that way, because there's a chance that I really have no idea what I'm talking about with that, and, and the SAT reading passages actually do help you guys. So, um, yeah, let me know. If, if it does work, if you do the SAT reading passages and you feel like it was working, please let me know. Yeah, yeah, so SAT writing and lying is, is definitely one you should be practicing for the English section. Yeah, and if you're finishing in 25 minutes, you can see that that's, you're going to crush the ACT English section as well. Those two are very comparable. The math sections are pretty comparable. The ACT math section has a lot more concepts on it than the SAT math, which is a lot more just solely algebra and algebra two based. You have functions, maybe a little early pre-calculus. The ACT math section is by far the hardest se section of that test. The ACT math is way harder than any of the other three sections by, by a long ways, in my opinion. They ask you a lot of really obscure topics that just don't aren't really necessary for them to ask, in my opinion. I'm also a math tutor, so I, I know everything from, you know, I've seen every curriculum for math from like 8th grade to AP Calc 3, or Calc 3, and I just don't know why they ask you certain questions on the ACT math section. It just doesn't seem like it's very much of a point. It's not really helping you in very many ways, whereas the SAT math section is great. Uh, I think it really is applicable to stuff you guys learn in school. The SAT reading section is the opposite. I don't think the SAT reading section is really applicable to, and that's just, again, my opinion, but I think the ACT reading section does a good good job of timing you guys in the way that you'd be timed it for a college test and, and keeping that kind of stress on because there's a lot of stress when you take a three-hour college final. And ultimately, that's, the, that's why being a great test taker is so important because when you do get to college, you will have an you will have a math calculus final on a Saturday for three hours. That's just something that will happen at any college you go to, and you got to be ready to take that test. You know, especially if you're like in an engineering program. That's why these tests matter. As much as the content for these tests matter to colleges, much more so the actual stress and the timing and the and the being in that environment is something that you're definitely going to see when you get to college. And that's why those tests. That's why these tests matter even more so. And that's why they're not, you know, the, the, the UC schools, the University of California school system just came out with like a lengthy report saying that these tests are still very valid. 
Uh, they did a bunch of research on it and, and they're going to supposedly keep these tests at least in the fold for the application process for the next five years. Usually the University of California school system is kind of the first to do something or not do something. So it would indicate probably that these tests are going to be available, are going to be part of the, a major part of the application process for every college uh, and university for at least the next five years. So take that for what it's worth, but the UC school system just came out with that report. So I, you know, I trust that and, and trust that at most of the schools, state schools, especially uh, across the country. So guys, great job today. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm going to sign off now, but again, if you guys have any comments or questions for me, please don't hesitate to comment uh, below this video. I, I really appreciate all of your participation and questions. It makes it more exciting for me. It makes me want to continue to do more of these videos and makes, you know, everything, uh, everything I think worthwhile. And hopefully you guys are getting a lot out of these. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, let us know. But otherwise, great job today, guys. Thank you so much for taking the practice test. Remember those advanced score reports, the discussion or, or the uh, links for those are posted in the, in the, in the uh, description below. So you guys, can, uh, you guys can plug in your answers and see exactly how you're doing and which question types you're missing. Great job today, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for participating. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys hopefully in two weeks for the next practice test. We'll be posting about that uh, over the next two weeks. Okay, so see you guys in two Saturdays. Have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great week. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.